Chapter 1 Apparel Industry and Apparel Production Welcome to the Juki e-learning series Sewing Operator Training Course. This course will provide you with the basic studies and practice to allow you to apply your ability as a staff member at an apparel factory. This course consists of five chapters. All chapters, except Chapter 4, have confirmation tests at the end. Now, let's start. In Chapter 1, you will learn about the flow of the apparel industry and apparel production. Chapter 1, 3. Flow of Apparel Production. This screen shows you the flow of the cloth that is to be used as the material, original fabric. It is shipped to the apparel factory, made into clothes, and then delivered as a product. You can see that there are many steps toward creating the product, from receiving the original fabric to delivery of the product. The work performed at apparel factories is mainly performed by three sections the cutting section, sewing section, and finishing section. Chapter 2 Basic Knowledge of Needles, Threads, and Sewing Machines In Chapter 2, you will learn about the basic knowledge of needles, threads, and sewing machines that you will need for sewing. Chapter 2 1 Knowledge of Needles Now, let's begin with a quick explanation of the needles of sewing machines. Chapter 2, 1, 1. Part Descriptions and Thicknesses of Needles. The screen shows an enlarged view of the needle of a sewing machine. The descriptions of the primary parts of the needle are the needle handle or shank, which is attached to the needle bar, the needle blade, which is the blade of the needle, the tip of the needle, which is located at its tip, and the needle eye which is the hole through which the needle thread passes. A scarf is also located on the needle eye. Also, there is a long groove on the front of the needle. This concludes the list of the descriptions of the main parts of the needle. Chapter 3, Operation and Adjustment of Lockstitch Sewing Machines. Chapter 3, 1. Lockstitch Sewing Machines Lockstitch sewing machines are a fundamental sewing machine for making clothes, and they have a wide range of applications, such as sewing up all kinds of clothing. In Chapter 3, you will learn about how to use and adjust a single needle lockstitch sewing machine, which is the most basic lockstitch sewing machine. Chapter 4 Practice for Lockstitch Sewing Machines. In Chapter 3, you learned about how to use lockstitch sewing machines. You would probably like to try sewing with your sewing machine as soon as possible. However, before doing this, there are some efficient practice methods available to you. This chapter explains these methods. You can practice sewing with a lockstitch sewing machine by using the three practice sheets created by Juki. Chapter 4 explains how to practice using these practice sheets. Chapter 4, 1. Lockstitch Sewing Machine Practice Sheet 1. Practice Sheet 1 consists of Block A, Block B, and Block C. on the lines. The white dot indicates the sewing start position. Set the presser foot as a guide. Please start operating the sewing machine from the position at which the needle pierces the sewing start position. Please practice straight stitching without your stitch deviating from the line while operating your sewing machine at a low speed. There are black dots on the line. These indicate where you are to stop sewing part way. Chapter 5, Operation and Adjustment of Overlock Sewing Machines. Chapter 5, 1, Overlock Sewing Machines. 
Overlock sewing machines are a fundamental sewing machine for making clothes, and they have a broad range of applications, such as overedge chain stitch sewing and seaming of all kinds of knit clothing. In Chapter 5, you will learn about how to use and adjust two needle, four thread overlocking sewing machines, which are the most common type of these machines.